From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're gonna offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity, along with the developments happening in and around the world. Ram Leela, a dramatic folk enactment of the Hindu epic Ramayan, is deeply rooted in India's rich culture and belief system. The traditional drama is played as a part of the Hindu festival Durga Puja, which celebrates the victory of good over evil. As the festival arrives, drama artists across Indian states are pouring their heart and souls, regardless of their belief systems, to make the festivity grand. Let's have a look. Apoto. Not a wish. Ram Leela, a traditional performance based upon the epic story of Lord Ram, popularly known as Ramayan, is performed all across northern India during the Dashera festival. Ram Leela, as the name suggests, depicts the mythological story of Lord Ram winning over the demon king Ravan in a bid to rescue his beloved wife Sita. Today, the art form is recognized not only in India but throughout the world. The popularity of this art form can easily be recognized as people from different communities and religious groups come forward enthusiastically to participate in enacting various characters during the play. As the Dashera festival approaches, enthusiastic drama artists as well as well-known television stars are all busy preparing and rehearsing for their performances in a bid to make Ram Leela grand and spectacular. एक बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी होती है आपके ऊपर अगर आप ऐसे किरदार जब आप निभाते हैं और लाइक ऐसा लगता है कि पूरे ब्रह्मांड का जो भार है वो आप ही के कंधों पर है क्योंकि जिस समय लाइव आपको बहुत सारा ऑडियंस देखने आता है हालांकि इसका लाइव टेलीकास्ट भी होगा लेकिन जो लाइव लोग देखने आते हैं वो उस समय गगन को नहीं देखते उस समय प्रभु राम को ही देखते हैं तो जब भगवान को वो देख रहे हैं तो मैं नहीं समझता वो चाहेंगे कि भगवान कोई गलती करें किसी भी रूप में दी टेन डे ट्रेडिशनल ड्रामा राम लीला इज अ पार्ट ऑफ दी दुर्गा पूजा फेस्टिवल विथ सेलिब्रेट्स दी नाइन फेमिन अवतार ऑफ शक्ति और गॉडेस दुर्गा The artists during the play narrate and recite songs, dialogues and poems on the platform while bringing the population together regardless of caste and religion. The play also symbolizes the victory of good over evil as Lord Ram kills the demon king Ravan on the 10th day. Over several locations processions were taken out as a part of the traditional drama Ram Leela drawing a large number of devotees who took to the streets to welcome the event Mathura Ram Leela Sabha ke tatvadhan mein aaj Ram Leela Sabha ki taraf se Ram Barat nikal rahi hai jo jisme hamari 71 jhankiyan hain सात बैंड बाजे हैं चार अखाड़े हैं भिन्न भिन्न तरीके की और बहुत सी आतिशबाजी वगैरह सब चल रही है साथ में घोड़े हाथी सब साथ चल रहे हैं राम जी की बारात भक्त निकल रही है मथुरा की खासियत है कि एक साल पुरानी 187, एट सेवन एक साल पुरानी ये हमारी रामलीला है जो मथुरा की सिद्ध रामलीला है The tradition of Ram Leela is believed to have originated around the 16th century during the time of the bhakti movement. Tulsi Das, a popular poet who wrote the Hindi version of the Ramayan called the Ram Charit Manas, is considered one who fanned the tradition of Ram Leela to spread the teachings of Ramayan to the common people. बेहद खुशी की बात है कि सालों साल मुझे यहाँ अयोध्या आने का मौका मिलता है पहले तो सीता मैया का किरदार निभाया था फिर माँ शबरी का और इस बार वेदमती का तो बहुत अच्छा लगता है कि हर साल 
राम लल्ला के दर्शन करने को मिलते हैं द रामायण इज अ टाइम लेस एपिक दैट हैज इंस्पायर्ड पीपल वर्ल्ड वाइड वाइल्ड टीचिंग अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ धर्म लव डिवोशन परसिवरेंस कम्पैशन एंड फर्गिवनेस मीन वाइल्ड राम लीला वाइल्ड कीपिंग द एसेंस ऑफ राम एंड रामायण कंटिन्यूज टू गाइड ह्यूमन काइंड टू वर्ड्स द राइट पाथ पीपल कैन लर्न फ्रॉम द रामायण टू लिव बेटर एंड मोर मीनिंगफुल लाइफ Moving on it's the festival season in India and the vibrant city of Katak in Odisha is all soaked in festive colors the hindu and muslim artisans meticulously crafted ornamental decorative items to serve the demands of devotees eager to decorate their homes offices and religious places let's delve into this captivating spectacle of devotion and craftsmanship Katak the silver city of Odisha often known for its finest filigree work is one of the epicenters of communal harmony in India the city offers a peek into its age old cultural heritage as it unfolds yet another story that narrates love and brotherhood within society as the country is soaked in the festival season both hindu and muslim artisans are busy together crafting embellishing items to decorate पूजा पंडाल्स एंड द आइडल्स ऑफ हिंदू डेटीज कटक में तो भाईचारा शहर है उसमें हिंदू मुस्लिम भाई 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 होके काम रहते हैं और उसमें तो हम लोग खुश हैं कि हम लोग मुस्लिम में होके काम दशहरे के काम में हाथ लगता है हम लोग का और हमको बहुत सम्मान भी देते हैं हम लोग काम जो फिटिंग कर देते हैं हम लोग जाते हैं मंडप में हमको बहुत सम्मान करते हैं बहुत इज्जत करते हैं The Muslim community in Katak has been designing and making these decorative items for years and is appreciated for their artwork. Hundreds of artisans work together to create ornamental items made of golden paper, glitter, mirrors, golden wires and Indian cork. Zari Medha or Zari Tableau artwork is most popular for its artistic brilliance. The artisans intricately design the tableau using silver and golden wires. and embedded mirrors and glitters while giving it a rich look ye kaam pita ji ke time se hum kar rahe hain kyunki ab yahan school ja rahe the school se aake jo kaam hota tha ghar mein baith ke karte the pita ji ke sath mein makur hota hai haar hota hai kiran hota hai anta patti hota hai baju faju ho raha hai aapka wo sab kaam hota hai mehd bhi ho raha hai The Muslim families work day and night in full swing to complete the artistic tableaus while serving the demands of their customers. The items have traditionally been supplied for the cause of Durga Puja in many parts of Odisha such as Katak, Bhubaneswar, Roorkela and nearby states. Ha ye to parampara hai Katak ka. Yahan pe hum log Muslim aadmi ho ke bhi ye kaam karte hain aur bhi bahut sa family hum log ka hai jo ye kaam karta hai pehle se. तो इसी तरह चलता है भाईचारा शहर में और क्या इंडिया एज अ कंट्री हैज ऑलवेज एम्ब्रेस्ड इट्स डाइवर्सिटी व्हाइल दिस स्टोरी इज मेली एन एग्जांपल ऑफ हाउ कल्चरली डाइवर्स पीपल कोएग्जिस्ट टुगेदर इन लव एंड हार्मनी देयर आर मल्टीपल स्टोरीज वन कैन फाइंड इन एवरी नूक एंड कॉर्नर ऑफ द कंट्री दैट डिपिक्ट द कंट्रीज इन ग्रीन वैल्यू सिस्टम एंड नाउ सम ऑफ द स्टोरीज दैट मेड न्यूज़ रिसेंटली India is interested in hosting the Olympic Games in 2036 Prime Minister Narendra Modi said at the opening ceremony of the International Olympic Committee session in Mumbai The country has never hosted the Olympics before but in 2010 Delhi hosted the Commonwealth Games Bharat apni dharti par Olympics ka aayojan karne ke liye bahut utsahit hai साल 2036 में भारत में ओलंपिक्स का सफल आयोजन हो इसके लिए भारत अपने प्रयासों में कोई कमी नहीं रखेगा 
Modi also said India would look to host the Youth Olympics in 2029. The annual winter festive chapter of Lakme Fashion Week began in Indian capital New Delhi. The second day of the week-long event saw Indian actress Hina Khan and Bollywood actor Jim Sir who played the muse or Indian designer Saman Chauhan. It feels nice like fashion is always my comfort zone. I really feel nice, you know, when I whenever I get an opportunity to walk the ramp and for that matter just to simply dress up i just love it so um, when i was told about it i just didn't want to miss the opportunity lakme fashion design council of india and reliance brands hosts the fashion week in march as summer resort in mumbai and the winter show in delhi The government of India implemented various skill development schemes to empower women and provide them with vocational training opportunities. One such initiative is the Skill India Mission which aims to train and certify individuals in different trades including cutting and tailoring. Under this scheme Kashmiri girls are availing free cutting and tailoring training. Girls from far-flung areas of Kashmir are availing of this free training at Prayas JAC Society Center, Shalting, Srinagar. The duration of the training program may vary, and the training program covers various aspects of cutting, stitching, and tailoring. The training program aims at empowering women to work in the fashion industry or start their own tailoring business. And now we take you to vibrant and cultural city of Udaipur where a centuries old tradition is being revived through Sanchi art. Recently Sanchi art festival was celebrated at the famous Govardhanath temple. The unique art form was on the verge of disappearing. However, through their constant efforts for generation, this one family in the city is striving to revive this tradition. Sanchi art continues to shine a testament to the indomitable spirit of the people of Udaipur. Let's have a look. Udaipur, also called the city of lakes, has been holding its cultural pride by immaculately preserving its rich heritage for centuries. The culturally rich city of Rajasthan, Udaipur has always surprised the world through its unconventional traditions, distinctive art forms and unique art pieces. This time, the city has unveiled its most extraordinary art form, Jal Sanji or water art, on the occasion of Jal Sanji festival at Govardhan Nath temple. The artists here delicately craft, integrate designs and miniature paintings over the canvas of water using natural colors. Meet Rajesh Vaishnav, an artist whose family has been dedicated to this art form for the 19th generation now. I have been making this for 10 years, which is now. And both of them are also making it. This is on the floor. एक तो सूखे पाउडर कलर आते हैं जैसे कोयला पाउडर है वाइट जिंक है सोप स्टोन है पियावड़ी और स्टोन मिनरल जो पेंटिंग के सूखे पाउडर वो हम यूज़ करते हैं और पानी के ऊपर बहुत सावधानी रखती रखने पड़ती है क्योंकि थोड़ा सा भी अगर जल अस्थिर हो जाए कपड़ा अपना उंगली हाथ कुछ भी टच हो जाए पूरी डैमेज हो बहुत ही सावधानी हमें रखनी पड़ती है इसको करीब एक झांकी को सांझी को बनाने में करीब पाँच छः घंटे लगते हैं हमें Jal Sanji is a rare temple art that depicts the life of Lord Krishna on the surface of water. The art form was on the verge of disappearing. However, the family has revived the masterpiece by continuing to practice for generations. After Rajesh, the family legacy would be passed on to Ankur, his son. Ankur, like his father, has excelled in this art form and is practicing under his father's guidance. पापा को ये जल सांझी करते करते लगभग बावन साल के आसपास हो गए और अभी मैं तीस साल का हूँ इकतीस साल का हूँ तो मैं भी बचपन से ये जब से हम हुए हैं पैदा हुए 
उसके बाद से जब से बड़े हो रहे हैं तो ये जल जी हर साल हमें भी देखने को मिलती है तो धीरे धीरे हमारा भी इंटरेस्ट बचपन से ही इस कला की तरफ चला गया और धीरे धीरे फिर मैंने भी ये स्टार्ट कर दिया This exceptional art form is just one of many examples of India's diverse artistic expressions and long-standing traditions that together contribute to the country's rich cultural heritage. And now, some of the major stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Five sports including cricket and flag football proposed for inclusion at the Los Angeles 2028 Olympics were approved by the International Olympic Committee Executive Board leaving them with one last hurdle to seal their Olympic spots. Organizers of the LA 2028 Games said this week they wanted cricket, flag football, lacrosse, squash and baseball softball added to the event. Each host city under IOC rules approved a few years ago can request the inclusion of several sports for their addition of the games. Cricket which enjoys a massive appeal in India and a quickly growing global audience is set for an Olympic return after appearing once at the 1900 games. Flag football is a non-contact format of American football played by teams of 5. Baseball was featured in several previous games. It was added to the 2020 Tokyo program after being left off in 2012 and 2016, but it will not be a part of the Paris Games. Softball, the female counterpart to baseball, has appeared at five previous editions of the Summer Games and was also left off the Paris agenda. Japanese company NTT Communications recently organized the DX Theme Park Business Forum in Tokyo. It displays cutting-edge IoT, 5G, robot and AI avatar technology. These cutting-edge technologies portend a radical change in social life in the future. President of NTT Communications Toru Maruoka declared connect each business. まあ、お一人お一人のまあ課題に寄り添いながらですね私ども ICT を活用してより大きなものにつなげていく特にアフターコロナこの中でまあさらにもう一度こうつなぎ直すと、まあ、こういう活動をつなげてまいります、えー、つなげビジネス、えー、ドコモビジネスはサステナブルな社会を皆さんとご一緒に目指してまいります、えー、グローバルビジネスについてはネットワークからまあ IoT などをですね展開をしているところでございますグローバルでの実績をしっかり積んでですねえー、つなぐ先は国内だけじゃなくてグローバルにも、まあ、どんどん、まあ、広げてまいりたいというふうに思っております。It goes beyond just talking like an avatar. It takes into account the emotions of the client, recognizes the customer's fundamental needs, and prepares generation AI. By using cutting edge technologies, NTT Communications will create a social life for the future that is unparalleled. It will be a secure and comfortable environment for everyone. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government organizes plogging which means picking up trash and run as one of its environmental education events in Tokyo. Campaigns like Clean Tokyo, Clean Japan and Garbage Pickup by Audiences in sports stadiums are very popular around the world. Regular environmental education events are held by the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. The plogging event was also held on this day. Plogging and jog was held in October around Tokyo's Sumida River. At Sky Tree's skirt, trees are painted yellow and crimson during the autumn season. The scenery is breathtaking. There is some trash dough on the ground. Participants in this activity shared a sense of family and the value of giving back to the community. Plogging is a fitness activity. It is a fitness activity. It is a very high level of fitness. 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 
Tokyo Metropolitan Government held a plogging event to realize the cleanest Tokyo. During the event, a total of nine citizens participated, including children. Collected garbage is divided into inflammable, non inflammable materials. It is made a reality by citizens' impulsive social interaction. A healthy dose of fun and community service is quite beneficial in fostering to create clean and comfortable society. And lastly, we take you to Siliguri in West Bengal, where a two-day long philatelic exhibition was organized. The event was aimed to educate and inform the youth of their history and cultural significance, featuring a wide variety of stamps and postal cards from both the pre- and post-independence period. Let's have a look. Siliguri, a city in India's Darjeeling district, forms the third largest urban agglomeration in West Bengal and is situated in the northeastern part of the state. Recently, the city held a philatelic exhibition organized by the Indian Postal Department, drawing people from all walks of life. The two-day-long exhibition aimed at enhancing and enriching the skills of school-going children provided them with a broad overview of India's rich history. You're sitting in your table and you're writing a letter that holds so much more meaning, right? And through stamps, through pasting, we will understand how communication in back then time would work. So it is very learning about our heritage, our culture, because when we know about what has happened, when we know about how things took place in past, then we can change, we can work for the better right now. So it's very important for us school-going kids because we are the youth of today. We are going to be youth of tomorrow also. The exhibition is said to have last been held in 2014, after which, in years, the state did not witness this unique display of stamps and postal cards. The event showcased a captivating collection of stamps and postcards from both pre- and post-independence periods, featuring exquisite caricatures of flora, fauna and eminent personalities on the postal cards. This district level philatelic exhibition is for two days. Today, the day is the day of the day and the day of the day is the day of the day. इसमें यदि मैं ब्रॉड तौर पे बताऊं तो दो तरह के लोग इसमें भागीदारी कर रहे हैं एक तो स्टूडेंट्स जो यहाँ के स्कूल्स के सिलीगुड़ी के स्कूल्स के तो हैं ही साथ में दार्जिलिंग के भी हैं और बच्चों के कलेक्शंस जो कि फ्लोरा एंड फोना पे ज़्यादा है एनिमल्स पे है और इसके अलावा इन्वाइटी क्लास में हमारे जो राष्ट्रीय स्तर के फिलाटेलिस्ट हैं जिन लोगों ने राष्ट्रीय स्तर पे भी राज्य स्तर पे भी काफ़ी मेडल जीता है उनके भी डिस्प्ले हैं इवेंट्स लाइक दिस ट्रूली मैनिफेस्ट द रिच लेगेसी ऑफ इंडिया दे आर हेल्पफुल इन इंफॉर्मिंग द यूथ ऑफ देयर हिस्ट्री एंड कल्चर That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback on myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.